Hello and welcome to this video where we will explore the fascinating world of particle physics and discuss two fundamental concepts that have revolutionized our understanding of the universe, Yang's theory and the jump of mass. For decades, physicists have been on a quest to unravel the mysteries of the subatomic world and understand the fundamental forces that govern the behavior of matter. The discovery of Yang's theory and the jump of maths represent two key milestones in this journey, providing us with a deeper understanding of the universe at its most fundamental level. So join me as we delve into the intricacies of these concepts and explore their significance in the world of physics. Yang's theory is a fundamental theory in physics that describes the behavior of elementary particles, which are the building blocks of matter. It is named after two physicists, Chen Ning Yang and Robert Mills, who independently developed the theory in the 1950s. The theory is based on the concept of gauge symmetry, which refers to the invariance of physical laws under certain transformations. The key idea behind Yang's theory is that particles interact with each other through the exchange of other particles, known as gauge basins. These interactions are mediated by the gauge fields, which are fields that describe the strength and direction of the interaction between particles. In this theory, the gauge fields themselves are also particles, known as gauge basins. The gauge basins that mediate the strong force between quarks are called gluons, and those that mediate the weak force between particles are called W and Z basins. The electrum add-ons, which are also gauge basins. In fact, the entire standard model of particle physics is based on Yang's theory, which unifies the electromagnetic, weak, and strong forces. One of the most fascinating aspects of Yang's theory is its prediction of the existence of massless particles, such as photons. However, it is well known that many elementary particles have maths, including the W and Z basins. The question of how particles acquire mass was a major puzzle in particle physics for many years. The solution to this puzzle was proposed by Peter Higgs and others in the 1960s, who developed the theory of the Higgs field. According to this theory, Particles acquire mass through their interaction with the Higgs field, which is a field that permeates all of space. The Higgs field interacts with some particles more strongly than others, which leads to the masses of those particles. The Higgs field also plays a crucial role in the jump of maths, which refers to the sudden increase in mass that occurs when a particle transitions from a state of low energy to a state of high energy. This phenomenon was first observed in experiments with quarks in the 1970s and is now understood to be a consequence of the Higgs field. In summary, Yang's theory is a fundamental theory in physics that describes the behavior of elementary particles and the interactions between them. The theory is based on the concept of gauge symmetry and predicts the existence of massless particles. The Higgs field plays a crucial role in the acquisition of mass by particles, as well as in the jump of mass that occurs when particles transition to higher energy states. Yang's theory is a mathematical framework that describes the behavior of fundamental particles and their interactions. It is a quantum field theory that is used to describe the strong and weak nuclear forces, which are responsible for the interactions between subatomic particles. The theory was first proposed by Chen Ning Yang and Robert Mills in 1954 and is based on the idea that particles can be described by a mathematical object known as a field. These fields are defined in terms of mathematical functions that are used to describe the behavior of particles and their interactions with one another. The mathematical structure of Yang's theory is based on the concept of gauge symmetry. Gauge symmetry is a mathematical property that describes the relationship between different representations of a physical system. In Yang's theory, this symmetry is associated with the interactions between particles and the fields that describe them. One of the key features of Yang's theory is the concept of mass. Mass is a property of particles that determines their behavior and interactions with other particles. In the case of the Yang's theory, the mass of particles is related to the strength of their interactions with the fields that describe them. The existence of mass in Yang's theory is related to a phenomenon known as the mass gap. The mass gap refers to the fact that the theory predicts the existence of particles with a certain mass, but that these particles have never been observed experimentally. The mass gap is related to a mathematical problem known as the mass jump. The mass jump refers to the sudden increase in mass that occurs when the strength of the interactions between particles and the fields that describe them exceeds a certain threshold. The existence of the mass jump is a consequence of the mathematical structure of Yang's theory. It is related to the fact that the theory predicts the existence of particles that are strongly coupled to the fields that describe them. These particles are difficult to study experimentally, but their existence is important for understanding the behavior of fundamental particles and their interactions. 
In summary, the existence of mathematics of Magnus theory is based on the concept of gauge symmetry and the behavior of particles and their interactions with fields. The mass gap and the mass jump are important features of the theory and are related to the existence of particles with a certain mass that have not yet been observed experimentally. Understanding these mathematical structures is important for advancing our understanding of the behavior of fundamental particles and their interactions. Gauge symmetry is a fundamental concept in theoretical physics and plays a crucial role in the formulation of the Einstein's theory. In this context, gauge symmetry refers to the fact that the physical properties of a system should not depend on the particular choice of gauges to describe it. Put simply, gauge symmetry means that different descriptions of the same physical system can be related to each other by a transformation that leaves the physical properties unchanged. In the case of Magnus theory, gauge symmetry refers specifically to the invariance of the theory under local gauge transformations. This means that the equations of the theory remain unchanged when the gauge fields are transformed in a particular way, which depends on the local properties of the space-time where the theory is defined. The Angus theory is a type of gauge theory that describes the behavior of fundamental particles, such as quarks and gluons, that are affected by strong forces. In this theory, the gauge fields are associated with a group of symmetries, known as the gauge group. The behavior of these fields is governed by a set of equations, known as the Einstein's equations, which are invariant under local gauge transformations. The gauge symmetry of the Einstein's theory has important consequences for the behavior of particles that interact through these strong forces. One of the key predictions of the theory is that these particles should exhibit a property known as confinement, which means that they cannot exist as isolated particles but must always be found in bound states, such as protons and neutrons. In addition to the concept of gauge symmetry, another important concept in theoretical physics is the idea of mass. Mass is a fundamental property of particles that determines their behavior under the influence of external forces. In the context of the standard model of particle physics, which includes the Einstein's theory, the origin of mass is explained by the Higgs mechanism. The Higgs mechanism involves the introduction of a scalar field, known as the Higgs field, which interacts with the gauge fields and gives mass to the particles that interact with these fields. The Higgs mechanism explains why particles like the W and Z bosons, which mediate the weak nuclear force, have mass while the photon, which mediates the electromagnetic force, is massless. In summary, the concepts of gauge symmetry and maths are fundamental to our understanding of the behavior of particles in the universe. The gauge symmetry of the Einstein's theory explains the behavior of particles that interact through strong forces, while the Higgs mechanism explains the origin of mass in the particles that interact with these forces. Together, these concepts provide a powerful framework for understanding the fundamental interactions of the universe. The Einstein's theory is a fundamental part of the standard model of particle physics, which describes the behavior of fundamental particles and their interactions. The theory was developed in the 1950s and 1960s by Chen Ning Yang and Robert Mills, and it has since become a cornerstone of theoretical physicists. The Yang-Mills theory and the Higgs mechanism are both crucial components of the standard model of particle physics. Together, they provide a powerful framework for understanding the behavior of fundamental particles and their interactions. The importance of these theories is further underscored by the discovery of the Higgs boson, which provided strong evidence for the existence of the Higgs field and confirmed the predictions of the standard model. The Angus theory was independently developed by two physicists, Chen Ning Yang and Robert Mills, in 1954. Yang, a Chinese-American physicist, and Mills, an American physicist, were both working at the Brookhaven National Laboratory in New York at the time. They were trying to extend the work of Herman Weyl, who had proposed a theory of electromagnetism that involved a gauge field. Yang and Mills realized that Weyl's ideas could be applied to the strong force, which is responsible for holding quarks together in the nucleus of an atom. They developed the Einstein's theory as a mathematical framework for describing the behavior of the strong force and the interactions between elementary particles, which has since become a fundamental part of theoretical physics. The existence of the mass gap problem and the Einstein's theory more broadly are considered to be one of the most important unsolved problems in theoretical physics and a major obstacle in the quest for a theory of everything that unifies all fundamental forces in nature. The resolution of these problems would represent a significant leap forward in our understanding of the fundamental nature of the universe and the behavior of matter and energy at the smallest scales. The resolution of the mass gap problem has been identified as one of the seven Millennium Prize problems by the Clay Mathematics Institute, which offers a $1 million prize for the solution of each problem. 
The Millennium Prize problems are considered to be some of the most important unsolved problems in mathematics and theoretical physics and their solutions would represent a major breakthrough in our understanding of the universe. Goodbye.